What is a Bland Altman plot? The Bland Altman plot is a graphical method to compare two measurements. In a sense, a Bland Altman plot is a scatter plot where the differences between two measurements are plotted against their averages. This helps to visualize the degree of agreement between two raters and to identify any systematic bias. Let's look at an example. Let's say we're doing research in the field of blood glucose measurement and we want to compare two blood glucose meters, gluconeutral and gluconeu. To do this, we collect data from 10 patients who have measured their blood glucose using both meters. To create a bland oldman plot, the first step is to calculate the difference of the respective pairs. 105 minus 100 equals 5, 155 minus 150 is also 5, 85 minus 82 equals 3, and so on. And then we need to calculate the mean of the paired values. 105 plus 100 divided by 2 is 102.5. 155 plus 150 divided by 2 is 152.5 and so on. So now we have for each pair the difference between rater 1 and rater 2 and for each pair the mean of rater 1 and rater 2. With these two values we can now start drawing the bland oldman plot. So let's just draw an x and a y axis. On the y-axis we plot the difference between the two values and on the x-axis we plot the mean value of each pair. Now we can add all the values. We enter the first point with a mean value of 102.5 and a difference of 5. The second point is entered for a mean value of 152.5 and also a difference of 5. We now do this for all other values. Now we can calculate the mean of the differences and plot it on the bland oldman plot. We simply add up all the differences and divide by 10. This results in 3.7. That is what we call the bias. On average, rater 1 measures 3.7 more than rater 2. Next, we can calculate the standard deviation of the differences. The standard deviation results in 1.25. With the standard deviation we can calculate the 95% confidence interval. To do this we simply calculate the mean plus and minus 1.96 times the standard deviation. So we can calculate the upper limit with 3.7 plus 1.96 times 1.25 which is 6.25 and the lower limit with 3.7 minus 1.96 times 1.25 which is 1.25. This range is also called limits of agreement. Amazing, we have created a bland Oldman plot. But how can we interpret a bland Oldman plot? Let's take a closer look at the bias analysis, the scatter analysis and the limits of agreement. Bias analysis. If the mean difference, bias, is close to zero and most data points are scattered closely around this mean without any specific trend. It suggests that gluconeu provides readings very similar to gluconeclassic. A mean difference drifting away from zero signals systematic bias. In our example it looks like we have a small bias of 3.7. Scatter analysis. Random scatter is a positive sign, indicating consistent differences across measurement magnitudes. However, patterns like funneling could indicate proportional biases or heteroscedasticity. For example, the devices might agree more when glucose levels are in a low and medium range, but disagree at high levels. Limits of agreement. The limits of agreement give the 95% confidence interval of the differences between the measurements. They are crucial for understanding the variability of the differences. 
If you like, you can create a planned Oldman plot for free online using DataTab. Just go to datatab.net and copy your own data into this table. Then click on either Descriptive or Charts. Then simply select your two metric variables. If you now scroll down, you will be presented with many charts that could be suitable for the data, including the bland Oldman plot. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video.